I've got design space opened up and I'm gonna go ahead and select the image I want to insert. I'm going to resize it. Um, my cart, my rounds, my mold for my rounds is four inches. So I'm going to size this down to 3.5 inches. All right, then I am going to flip it horizontally since we are doing iron on, it's going to be reversed. So then I'm going to duplicate it because I need four of them. I'm just gonna do this until I have four. Then I'm going to arrange them way I want. Just like so. And I'm going to hit make it. And I want these to go like this. So I'm just going to move them back into place where I had them. All right, I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna make sure my dial is set to iron on. I'm going to get my mat loaded. Okay, so now all I've done is I have trimmed this down, separated from the others, and then peeled away the part of the transfer that I didn't want on there. I'm only going to do one because this is the first time I've ever tried this technique, and I don't want to waste my supplies on four freshies if it doesn't come out the way that I want it to. Okay, so I've got it pretty much in place. I was worried about the fact that it kept curling up, but it actually sticks pretty nicely to the silicone. So I think I can get these beads in here before it starts to curl up again. And I am going to place my nail right here so it kind of looks like it's hanging from the corner of the E. Just gonna smooth these out. So I got them all leveled out and they're ready to go in the oven. I, excuse me, always put these on the bottom rack when I'm doing holographic glitter or I just want the bottom to come out very smooth. Okay, so I've taken it out of the oven and given it some time to cool. So we're just gonna pop it out now and see what we've got. So that looks pretty cool. It's like almost perfect. So I'm gonna peel off the transfer tape. So it looks like it did not stick all the way. I'm not sure why it didn't. So I may hit it with a heat gun real quick to see if I can get it to stick. So I hit it with a heat gun and kind of smoothed it out. It's sticking now, 
but I'm gonna do the others and I'm gonna try something a little bit different on those to see if I can get a better result. If not, I may just leave the transfer tape on. I also wanted to try something a little bit more fun, so I went ahead and cut this one with my Cricut. And as you can imagine, this was a very tedious um, image to weed out, but I think the end result will be super cute and will make it worth it. So this one here, I don't, you can kind of see it. It looks like it's mostly detached from the vinyl, like the darker spots I think is where it's still kind of sticky. So I think this one did pretty well and I'm not gonna have the same issue with peeling that stuff off. This one I already did peel off and as you can see, it looks a lot better. It's stuck completely. Um, I saw a suggestion that said to peel it while it's still warm. Now some of these have cooled down more than others. So I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm gonna warm this side up a little bit and then peel away to see if that helps. So that should be enough just to warm it up a bit. See, it's peeling off so much easier than the first time. So I think that's definitely, if you're using the heat transfer vinyl, you want to make sure that you peel the backing away while it's still a bit warm. If you're doing multiples like me and some of them have cooled before you've gotten to them you can just use a heat gun probably I mean even a hair dryer would warm it up enough just to make it the the transfer tape less sticky and pull away from the vinyl without pulling the vinyl away from the freshie I'm gonna try with this one I just use the heat gun a little bit Hard to get the edge of that. <clears throat> that one came out so cool. I really love this one. I will definitely be doing more of these. That is pretty cool. I just wanted to show y'all a couple of others that I did using this technique. I love the way they came out. The result is just so professional looking and with all the different types of iron on vinyl that you can find, the possibilities are absolutely endless. Once again, thank you everybody for watching and I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.